Dora is a fundraising gala that supports the community outreach of Circus Flora. Here from Circus Flora is Executive Director Larry Mabry. Welcome, Larry. Thank you so much. So Good we love here. hearing about Circus Flora. It's a great organization. I love it. Yeah. Now, you've had a really interesting career and recently came back in the past couple of years to be the new Executive Director of Circus Flora. Correct. I started in January of last of 2016, last year. Yeah. Um, With a long career in theater and, and arts management prior to that. So. Exactly. Yeah. Performed formed at the Muni and stages many places here and then other places around the country. But moved more into arts management uh, 10 years ago or so and uh, have really enjoyed that, that aspect of the career, moving off of the stage to behind the scenes. So how is, how was it coming to Circus Floor and how is that different or more exciting or than well, what Well, it's you've been doing? theater, yeah. it's, but it's theatrical circus. I call it theater on steroids. So it really is, I mean, uh, bigger than most theaters. It's a 1,200 seat big top. You have to build your theater before you do a show. Yeah. Um, so that that alone is, is one exciting aspect. And then you're working with performers that do things that you only dream of or can imagine. It's that taking taking what the human being can possibly do and taking it up a notch or two or three or four. It's Which pretty amazing. most people can't do. So that's they really can't. the glory of it is you mm -hmm. see things that the human body shouldn't be able to do. <laughs> it's, it, it is phenomenal to watch these people do it eight, nine, ten times a week. No flaws. You know, some with no net. You know, the will end is with no net. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm constantly amazed. Some things I can't watch. <laughs> really? It's, it makes me a little nervous, some of yeah. them. Yeah. I don't leave the tent. I, we have people who actually, I can't be in the tent when they're doing that, but we, we enjoy it. It's a yeah, lot of fun. so it's fun. And so since you've been there, and I know over the past several years, I mean, the circus floor is always changing, always growing and being enhanced. What has changed since you've come on board, and what can we anticipate for next summer? Uh, well, you know, a few years ago, of course, we know our founder passed, David Balding. Um, and, you know, so what with with his energy and passion fueling this organization for mm. so long what does it become after him and that's where we've been in the last few years as a transition and now we have some very exciting things to announce but not today oh. we'll be announcing those at our gala uh, many of these things but I think everything that we're about to put out there is really going to excite the uh, the audience of St. Louis yeah. uh, and show our commitment to the community show that we are more of a year-round presence here in St. Mm. Louis and we'll be able to tell them everything that we do um, and we have some long-range plans for the organization. Well, and we certainly want to make sure that St. Louis is always a part of those long-range plans. So you can assure Definitely. us of that, right? Yes, we'll assure you of that. <laughs> okay. That's that's a part of the big announcement. So. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the gala is sure. something that um, is open to anyone. Open to anyone. A we still have tickets available, um, and tickets are $250. It is a fundraiser to support the outreach programs and special performances that we do throughout the season. Um, and, and are there circus performances at the event? Oh, yes. In fact, this year we have two uh, excellent performers that have never worked with us before mm. that we're bringing in specially for this, for this uh, fundraiser. So uh, you'll get to see something you've not seen in the Big Top at Circus Floor if you come to the show this year. So come some to the big gala. surprises. So let's talk about the community outreach because really the gala is one of the, um, w it, it funds it's, these programs. Exactly. And it's it important is, for that. It is one of the major uh, uh, funding pools mm -hmm. to help sustain these uh, outreach programs. So the main program, our we call it our flagship program, is Clowns on Call, mm -hmm. which is a program that we do in partnership with Cardinal Glennon uh, and also with uh, Mercy. Uh, but Cardinal Glennon is our, our major partner in this, mm -hmm. and we are very honored to have been there for over five years, served over 5,000 patients and families. Yeah. Um, as we know, people going through very difficult times with children who are in the hospital. And it just, it gives them that moment of break, that moment of respite. And the children, when, when you are in there and you watch them react to the, the clowns who are going in and working with them, it, it rips your heart out in a good way. Yeah, you know, to absolutely. To see that, that potential is, is to fantastic. To bring a bit of joy to a child's day, which isn't easy when they're in the hospital. Right. That's, that must be really wonderful to watch. It makes some of them even feel forgetting that they're taking medicine. Absolutely. They actually might even take their medicine with, you know, with the there clown. There you go. Take well, them a break, oh, that's so. so sweet. We're going to take a quick break, sure. Larry. We're going to come back. We're going to talk a lot more about Circus Flora and Floradora, the big event. So stay with us at STL Live. We'll be back after this break.